Shalom Aleichem, everybody. Shabbat Shalom, a good Shabbos. We know that Shabbos is Malchus. It is the low. It is the lowest sphere of Malchus. All the spheres, we they know there are ten sefirot. The lowest of all of them is the sphere of Malchus. So why is Shabbos related to Malchus when Shabbos is the holiest of the week? Because we learn that Malchus, even though it's the lowest of all the sefirot, its source is the highest. And really, it is the highest. Just like Shabbos, it is the last day of the week, but its source is in the beginning. It's the highest of all. What do we learn from this? We learn that we have to use our week to get ready for Shabbos. We have to, when a person works hard during the week and gets ready and gets excited for Shabbos, then on Shabbos itself, they reach a much higher level. And we know even though Shabbos is the last day of the week, all of the week before it gets its entire blessing and the week ahead from Shabbos. So how do we get excited? How do we get involved in Shabbos? There are many detailed and important laws. If you are Jewish, there are many different laws that you have to observe. And a lot of things that you're forbidden to do on Shabbos, this is how we get in, this is how we observe the Shabbos. This is how we guard the Shabbos. This is how we serve Hashem and protect his Shabbos. And Shabbos is related to the queen, to the bride. We have to receive Shabbos to get excited and be joyous on Shabbos. Normally, as we've learned many times in previous videos, we're not supposed to get too excited about physicality and really indulge. Yes, we have to take care of our physical health. Yes, we have to, to a certain extent, you know, be strong to make sure to eat enough, to sleep enough, but not to get too obsessed with it. However, on Shabbos, the food, the sleeping, the physicality itself is spirituality. So, let's get excited. Let's all try to learn a little bit more about the laws. For example, we're not allowed to light a fire on Shabbos. But we are commanded to pray on Shabbos. The prayer on Shabbos is much longer than the normal prayer. We're also, we have a mitzvah to make Kiddush, to make a blessing on the red wine on Shabbos. Kosher red wine, of course. And to eat bread, make a blessing on the bread. And to eat meat and fish on Shabbos because we have to celebrate Shabbos. We're also forbidden to do any type of work. We're not allowed to, 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 to do transactions with money on Shabbos. Through, a person asks, how do you deal with all these restrictions? And the answer to that is, through these restrictions, you get to reach the level of Shabbos. It seems like you have to give up a lot for Shabbos, but it's only through giving up these activities that you're able to enter and access the zone of Shabbos. Shabbos is like the days of Mashiach, because the days of Mashiach are called Yom Shekulo Shabbos, the everlasting Shabbos. May Hashem bless you all. May we experience the everlasting Shabbos today. Shabbat Shalom. Let's all try to to observe Shabbos a little bit stronger. And if you're not Jewish, your mission to serve Hashem is through the seven laws of Noah, to be a righteous Gentile and to spread Hashem's oneness throughout the entire world. Let us all glorify Hashem's name. Let us all serve Him. Shabbat Shalom.